In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the rear forward upper control arms on this BMW 550i. This is going to be located behind the rear wheels. Let's get into it. Now we're going to remove the wheel, use a 17 millimeter socket, take the lug bolts out. And before you take the last one out, I'm just going to hold the wheel just so it doesn't fall. Then grab the wheel and it comes right off. We're going to take this top nut off. We're going to use a 16 millimeter wrench. Loosen that up. And the stud is spinning, so we're going to have to put a socket on the end of the stud. I'm going to use a 16 millimeter ratchet wrench and a 7 millimeter wrench to keep the stud from spinning. It's loose enough to take it off. I'm just going to use a pry bar. Just pry this out. If it's stuck in there, you can use some front end tools to try to separate this. There we go. Let's pull that out. That's good. Now we're going to take this bolt out, but before you do that, you want to just mark it where it goes. You can just take a marker. Just put a little mark on there. There's a cam eccentric there. So that's gonna change the alignment. So you wanna put it as close to um, how it came apart as possible. You can use a 16 millimeter wrench on the nut on this side and a 16 millimeter socket just to hold that, loosen that up. In our case, this nut is broken off so we're gonna have to cut this off and replace the bolt. But take that off. I'm just gonna cut right here. comes right out. Now we'll get this lined up and we're going to pry this out a little bit so that we can get the top stud into the knuckle. There. There That's lined up and take the bolt, get that started. Get the paint mark close. And there's the washer that's gonna go in the back. And the nut. Now I'll put this nut on. a ratchet wrench. If the stud starts spinning, you want to put a seven millimeter wrench on the end of that. Otherwise you can just tighten it. All right, stop there. And we'll tighten this down the best we can. If you can get a torque wrench in there, you want to torque that to 47 foot-pounds. But it's a little tricky to get that. Do the best you can. Underneath the lower control arm, we're going to raise up the suspension. You want to get the ride height as close to normal as possible so that we can tighten down that top nut and bolt. Just be careful when doing this. It's right, good right there. Just using a wrench, get that lined up. Then 
Then if you can get a torque wrench on the nut side, you want to torque that to 47 foot-pounds. It's a little tricky to get there, so do the best you can. That's good. Now lower the pull jack. Install the wheel. And put the lug bolt in. Get that started. Get the other bolt started. And snug those down. Now we're going to torque the lug bolts to 98 foot pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. After finishing this installation, it's important to have an alignment done on your vehicle. Just go around again, double check. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.